हे गाइस वेलकम टू डेटा ट्रैक योर वन स्टॉप चैनल फॉर ऑल द डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग अपडेट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लुक एट two different ways of formulating a problem statement one is the well known regression way which is a point estimate while the other is distribution fitting approach which gives us a range estimate so let's understand the two approaches of formulating a problem statement with an example suppose we want to estimate the salary of a person given their basic details like the college they have studied in the designation they are currently in the years of experience let's say the company they are working for whether it's an mnc or a startup the city they are residing in whether it's a tier 1 city and so on now given these basic details we can try to have a point estimate by fitting a regression right so what regression does a regression model can predict the point estimate of person salary for example it might estimate that someone earns 250k rupees per month based on their attributes but let's say the use case is different the point estimate is not always good enough the let's say the bank's use case is consider the bank that wants to use this information for targeted marketing for example the bank might ask predict the confidence interval what is the 80th percentile confidence interval of the salary of the person or 95th percentile confidence interval of the salary of the person or it can also ask questions like what is the probability that the salary lies between 200k to 350k monthly right so to answer such type of questions of the confidence interval around the salary or predicting the probability that salary lies in a particular range it is possible if we fit a distribution to the data instead of formulating the problem as a regression problem and having a point estimate the distribution fitting approach will give us the range estimate and uh, how the loss function differs in two cases in the first one we try to minimize the mean square error that is we try to ensure that the prediction is as close to the predicted value where in this case y i is the true value and y hat is the predicted value we would like the loss to be minimum that is the predicted value to be as close to the true value the other approach is distribution fitting where first of all you will have to make an assumption which distribution we feel the data lies in let's say in the salary example we assume that data follows a normal distribution then given the training data where y is the salary of the people we already know because it's the training data we want to estimate the mu and sigma which are the parameters of the normal distribution and once we have mu and sigma we can answer all the queries around range or confidence interval and so on so this formula this is the pdf probability density function of normal distribution what we want to do we want to maximize the likelihood of data belonging to normal distribution and maximizing the likelihood of data belonging to normal distribution is like maximizing the likelihood we would like the pdf to be as high as possible now uh, th since this is the formula of likelihood maximizing the likelihood or maximizing the pdf is same as maximizing the log of likelihood right because uh log function is monotonically increasing if we take log of it the two terms which are multiplying 1 by root 2 pi sigma square and exponentiation of this term will become additive in log world so for the second term the log and exponential will cancel and we will get this and for the first term it can be broken down into these two terms now uh maximizing the log likelihood is same as minimizing the negative of log likelihood why we are trying to minimize the negative of log likelihood because when we train a model we minimize the loss we want something to minimize not something to maximize so whatever we want to maximize we can take a negative of it and we want we can minimize that so this is the log likelihood we can minimize the negative of log likelihood when you take a negative of it this negative negatives and all the three negatives will go away and this is the formula that you will get so when we will train a model this is the loss function that we will try to minimize just summarizing for regression problem we have mean square error which is the point estimate we want the error between the predicted and actual to be as low as possible while in case of distribution fitting we first assume the distribution then we take the pdf of that distribution which is the probability density function we want to maximize the log likelihood or maximize the likelihood which is same as maximizing the pdf of that function and then we will uh we once we have the log likelihood to maximize we can take the negative of it which becomes the negative log likelihood and this is the function that we will try to minimize and at the end when the training is done we will have mu and sigma with that we can answer all the um, range estimate queries 
let's look at the code and all the things will become super clear this is the notebook demonstrating the two approaches i will add the link of the notebook in the description section uh, first of all i have added the problem statement which is uh, that we have basic details like the college designation company and city the person is working on and in the training data we have the salaries we want to learn from this training data and uh, so that we can generalize for the unseen data and the two approaches is one is regression fitting which will give us the point estimate other is a distribution fitting approach which can help us answer all the range queries or confidence interval probability lying probability of salary uh, lying between a range and so on so first of all i have generated a data i have taken a very easy approach generated a very simple data set for understanding the two approaches how the two approaches work once you understand the two approaches you can generalize it to any complex data set so what i have done is i have added these four variables and the target variable which is salary the four variables are experience employment grade city tier and qualification all the four variables experience employment grade city tier and class qualification they take only three values one two three three being highest one being lowest so higher the experience higher should be the salary higher the employment grade higher should be the salary higher the city tier higher should be the salary higher the qualification higher should be the salary and these are the salaries then i did some basic idea to just check that my data generated is correct uh, for all the uh, experience employment grade city tier and qualification i have almost equal number of data points belonging to all the three categories one two three three being highest one being lowest and this is how the salary looks like you can see that the salary kind of looks like a normal distribution and you can also see the positive correlation of salary with experience with employment grade with city tier the last column the qualification and the salary so all the four variables are positively correlated which verifies the fact that data has been generated in correct way higher the value of the feature higher is the salary next i have broken down the data set into train and test data because on the train data we will train and on the validation data we can look at the metrics how well the model has generalized first we will use the regression approach in regression approach i have uh, some bunch of neural network layers and finally the output layer which is a single output and the loss i have used is uh, mean squared error right so you can check that the loss is msa which is mean squared error and it will train for 500 epochs and uh, post training you can see how the loss has reduced over uh, different epochs and i have also added early stopping so 500 epochs is not needed it will stop as soon as the accuracy doesn't get better on the validation set now let's look at the metrics uh, i have looked at three metrics of the validation set one is mean absolute error rmse and map you can remember the numbers 80 200 8 and 23 because we will compare it with the other approach which is distribution fitting approach and uh, the blue one is the actual salary and uh, the orange one is the predicted salary and we have already seen the errors which is uh, 80 200 8 and 23 now let's look at the another approach which is distribution fitting approach this is the interesting approach instead of one output neuron we have two neurons here one is mu which is predicting the mean of the distribution other is log sigma which is predicting the sigma which is standard deviation of the distribution and i have assumed the distribution to be normal distribution and loss function will be minimizing the negative log likelihood so what i was showing you in, you in the ppt same thing here i have implemented the loss function which is normal negative log likelihood loss and in the training we will reduce uh, we, we will have the loss function as negative log likelihood loss right so you can see loss is equal to normal negative log likelihood loss the function that i just uh, showed you which i have uh, defined and it will train for multiple epochs and here also i have put the early stopping criteria once the early stopping criteria is met it will stop and you can see that how the training has stopped and uh, this is how the sigma parameter learning has happened and this is how the mean parameter learning has happened and so on now le now let's look at the uh, metrics uh, it, the mean absolute error is 83 percent rmse is 109 map is 23 which is very similar to the regression approach the losses are very similar but the advantage here is we will have the parameters of the distribution which is mu and sigma uh, and this is how the actual versus predicted looks like in the 
uh, prediction what i have done i have just used a point estimate which is the mean of the distribution but i can always answer questions around confidence interval or probability lying between a range because i have the parameters of the distribution mu and sigma so uh, salary predicted i have just used the mean but i also have the sigma right i also have the sigma what i can do with sigma so now let's say i have to find the 80th percentile confidence interval for finding the 80th percentile confidence interval from the scipy library i can use this function norm.ppf norm.ppf ppf stands for percent point function which is the inverse of cdf cumulative distribution function so what basically it gives me is the z score that is if i want some percentile of the data how many standard deviation away it lies so here since i want 80th percentile i will take the 10th percentile and 90th percentile and whatever be the value between these are my 80th percentile uh, value so basically let's say 10th percentile lies here 90th percentile lies here then this to this range will be my 80th percentile so that is what exactly what i have done from the norm.ppf function i will get the z value z value is how many standard deviation that percentage of points lies and then i can get the lower bound and upper bound so i can clearly say that the mean salary is 302k but uh, the 80th percentile will lie between 213k to 391k similarly i can also answer questions around that uh, what is the probability that salary lies between this and this range here it will be 80th percentile it will be the inverse of what we just did right so that's it in this video where we looked at two interesting approaches of uh, formulating the problem statement one is to get the point estimate we can formulate problem as a regression problem while if we want kind of range estimate and answer queries like what is the probability that salary will lie between a range or what is the confidence interval for some of the use cases like the bank use case they need those kind of answers we can have distribution fitted around a data point and with that we will have we can use the properties of distribution to answer all such questions hope you like the video Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates. Bye.